All right, guys, what's going on? It's your boy Sour8 coming at you with a crazy Amiri video. Three pairs of snakes here. Um, I wanted to cover and explain to you guys why you should never, ever, 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 ever dry clean your Amiris. Stop dry cleaning your Amiris, guys. Let's check this out. <clears throat> In the center is my personal pair. This is a dead stock 32. Dead stock, never worn. I've tried it on once. Completely flawless. Completely flawless. Beautiful, beautiful pair. This is like the the holy grail of my collection. Um, I don't even wear them. You know, I value this pair at ten thousand. I would never sell this jean unless it's ten thousand. On the right hand side. It's the same jean size 33, but it was worn once and dry cleaned once. And if you look at it, it lost all of the beauty that Amiri applies. Yellow coating, gone. Shape, also gone. It just does not look anywhere near the same. And it's so sad because these are in extremely nice condition when it comes to touching the material and looking at it this was worn one time and the fucking person dry clean it once it's just insane guys like don't dry clean your jeans man this is not a good idea and on the right i mean the left hand side sorry this is the all black pair this is like impossible to me for me to find um but same same situation man worn once dry cleaned once and you know since i don't have another black pair i can't compare but i can tell that it's essentially ruined you know um you know the thing is these are incredibly rare jeans to find so most people when they get a pair like this they're very happy because they're just impossible to find somebody like me i only like brand new shit i don't like used shit i don't like used women used has never been a thing that i've been into so for me it's just like a crazy crazy deal breaker like this pair here i've been looking for four years i cannot find it i missed one opportunity on a dead stock 32 of tags 30 minutes later they were gone deleted i could never get them luckily i was able to secure the middle pair um but i don't wear it i don't wear it because it's impossible to find these jeans um until i have another pair like a dirty indigo or all black one i'm not i'm refusing to wear my 32 that's why i've priced it so high um for two reasons one reason is because i don't want anyone to buy this off of me like i don't want to sell it because this is in my opinion the only brand new pair in the world and the other thing is um because it's impossible to find. You know, this is the only dead stock pair I've ever been able to secure of a snake jean. Um, and it's a 32, so obviously it's gonna be for me. And when you compare what happens after most people dry clean their jeans, which most people do, they just don't look as good anymore um, compared to when they're from the factory. The black pair, kind of the same thing. Granted, I would say on the black pair, it's harder to see the flaws um, than on the blue pair. But it's just a quick video um, I wanted to, to bring out. I wanted to show you guys and talk to you guys because I have this opportunity right now. Um, I've already sold these. These are already gone. So don't, don't even try hitting me up about that. Um, but yeah, uh, that's basically that. Please don't dry clean your Amiris. Don't listen to what they say. Um, you know, right here, for example, or some of my other Amiris. I mean, you never see dirty indigo like this. Like, these are two dead stock 32s made at two different times. Like, this is how dead stock Amiris look. This one here, I don't remember what I did with this one. But that's a very old jean. But, you know, you look at this. Like, once you dry clean these pairs, they look like shit. You know, kind of like the same thing here. Like, this pair here looked really, really nice until I took out my pair and I compared it. And I was like, 
It's night and day. It's literally night and day. Um, so that's about it. That's about it. Nothing in this video is for sale, guys. So please refrain from asking. Just wanted to share with you guys just another first-hand reason as why you should never, ever dry clean your mirrors because you're essentially ruining them. Ruining them. Um, for somebody like me, for example, who's been looking for this pair for four years, right? If you got a dead stock pair with tags, you know, we could really be talking some serious money from my end, you know, because I'm willing to pay the extra. But 99% of the time, this is exactly what happens, is we get a pair that's like this or like this, that's dry cleaned. I'm a perfectionist. So for me, it's an immediate no-go. I know other people, they're going to be happy. I know people that would come in here and look at these two pairs and they'd be like, nah, bro, I don't like that one. Like all that color, it's ugly. This one looks like a regular jean. I fuck with it. And to each their own, right? Me, I'm just very, I'm very like, I like the original, everything original, the original way that it was made, like straight out the store, straight out the factory. You know, that's why, for example, like I showed you here, I got two identical jeans, you would think, but they were just made at two different production times, you know? And when you don't have dead stock pairs like this, you can't compare them, you know? But then when you're a collector like me, and you start looking and you start investigating, this is thinner, this is thicker, there's way more white paint on this one and this one, the shape of this one is different than this one. You know, like, when you know, you know. You know what I mean? So, that's about it. Thanks for checking out my video, guys. Like I said, please, do not dry clean your Amiris. You are essentially ruining them when you do.